On a walk to clear your head, lass? If only, Mr. Eugen. This town's at a crossroads, isn't it? At crossroads, Mr. Eugen? Folk stepped over the line there, Elise. Not everyone agrees with what happened today. You don't, I'm assuming? It was the final nail in my coffin, lass. I'll be on my way to Primaldor first thing Sunday morning. I see. You too, Elise. You shouldn't stay much longer. After what was said and done today... Only I could leave that easily. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Oh, Elise. I thought earlier I... Had it not been for you, they would've... No, Elise. I don't think they would've done it. Freya, I... The appeal of mine was rather childish, wasn't it? There was nothing childish about it, Freya. I'd say you were rather brave, even. Thank you, Elise. Had it not been for her, I would've been... Hmm. Oh. It is what it is, Linda. Ah, Elise! I can go if you'd like. I feel we ought to apologize to you, Elise. Apologize for what, Linda? Hmm. You think I deserved that? I don't recall ever giving folks reason to treat me that way, Miss Alma. Look, I admit, it wasn't our finest moment, but... Folks are frightened, Elise, especially after what Atfell said. Poor Atfell, he's so clearly troubled. Everyone seems to forget I, too, was in those woods with him. You're a little older, Elise, it's different. That said, Miss Alma, you're right, Elise, it wasn't fair to you. We have to start somewhere, that's all. That witch can swallow this town whole for all I care. I gotta get a little side road here. Uh huh. The vigil ought to bring us some peace of mind, old Jockin. Wouldn't you say so, lass? I'll be there, Mr. Ludwig. I have to wonder what for. Come now, we've all had enough of that for one day. I'm tired of this nonsense, Mr. Guido. What's the point in trying when nobody believes me? Now, I understand what happened today was rather unpleasant, Elise. I have to have search them, Ludwig. What would you do if you found something ill, Jockin? It's not worth it, Elise. Let's put this behind us. That's a little difficult to do, Mr. Guido. Especially when you yourself were so vocal about it. I was caught up in the uproar release. So was I, but I didn't get the benefit of the doubt. Come now, folks. The vigil will bring us all together. These folks never learn, do they? Time didn't go. Okay. There wouldn't be any down there.
There she is. Spend some time. Hi, oh, Elise, look what I found. A rock. Oh, but doesn't it look like flock? There's even a little tail, look. A little tail, you say? This one, too, doesn't it look like a chicken? There's the beak, see? But this is how you put that bracelet together, huh? Uh, yes. Ah, yes, that's right. Lord knows why you're so drawn to useless junk. It stops being junk the moment you give it meaning, Elise. That bracelet means plenty to both of us, wouldn't you say? Shush it, you. Oh, shush it. Hey, Rosamarine, how come I can't seem to find meaning in any of this? What do you mean, Elise? Kieferberg's so dear to everyone, yet I'm treated like a wretch. Working myself to the bone, putting up with their ill tempers. It all made more sense when Granny Hall was still with me. I think our Granny's passing has affected us in similar ways. Mm. Not right now, Rosemarine. I don't want to talk about it. I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't mean to. Come, the rain's only getting worse. Please. Please. take a jump back to the house since it moved time. Help with the chickens, kiss the rat. Ah, uh, help with the chickens. But something else comes up. I wonder if anything has changed with the window. What do you have her too? Yep, oh, that's the same. Window?
Ah, did I not? I don't think I went to the forest yet. Fireflies hiding out in here. Grimmeldorf can't be our only option, Finn. So, Guido, at this rate, any town's better than Kieferberg the way I see it. Brunhild's been saying the same thing, lass. Kieferberg is our home, Finn. Isn't Miss Brunhild from Himmeldorf? That being so, she still chose Kieferberg to... Would you truly be happy to raise your children here, Guido? Without proper schooling or jobs? Can we teach them our trade, Finn? You keep changing your mind about this, Guido, have you noticed? So do you. Kieferberg is dying faster than I thought. Let's kiss the rat. I'm sorry, Miss Wilma. You were right about these folks, Lise. What are you talking about? Oh, Miss Wilma. We're so terribly sorry. Miss Wilma said we could, so... Haven't they apologized enough, Wilma? Not apologies I want from them, Miss Mariel. It's respect. I'm not certain I follow. I can now understand how you felt this afternoon, Elise. Now that's a proper exaggeration, Miss Wilma. Truly, you're making too big of a deal out of this. Oh yeah. It's not worth the hassle, Elise. It's best you forget about it. Hmm. I wonder what happened here. Oh jeez, everything's overflowing again? Of course it's because of the rain. Well, at least that can be said it's because of the rain. Oh, Elise. What's wrong, Miss Elizabeth? Let's do it sooner rather than later, Elizabeth. Still, so, Marlin. You see, Elizabeth was telling me about this afternoon. Oh, Elise, I should have said something on your behalf, but instead I... That's right, Miss Elizabeth. I understand this hasn't been easy for you. Oh, no, Elise, you ought to let her apologize. But... Had it not been for Freya, I... I too would have believed them, Elise. Miss Elizabeth. Make certain you come to tonight's vigil, Elise. And bring your cousin along, too. Of course, Miss Marlin. Miss Elizabeth looked rather shaken. Hmm. You seem tired, Elise. It'd be more surprising if I wasn't, don't you think? I'll prepare something hearty for supper, Elise. Since it's her last. For goodness sake! There's no need to put it that way, yours and Marine. Ah, but... You head back to home first thing after sunset, all right? Of course. You make certain you find Flock, too. I can't help but worry with all this rain. Oh, Elise, you do care for Flock. Trust Rosa Marine. What a tasteless way to put it. It's not like I'm going to die. I understand, Father. You too, Elise. Ought to make certain your cousin joins us. The vigil, you mean? It's important she's present tonight. She'll be there, Father. Folks need as much reassurance as we can give them, is all. Aren't you pushing yourself, Lukachin? I'll be heading home in a moment. It's alright. About this afternoon's events, Elise. There's nothing left to say about that, is there? Folks are regretful, lass. I understand, Father. Hmm. Lepkachin knows how patronizing his words truly are, huh?
This rain won't let up, will it? You can only hope it's not raining tomorrow, too. Even if it is, Elise, we'd best make the most of it. Make the most of the rain, you say? Figuratively, lad. Where do you get all that cheer from, Mr. Gustav? Ought to wander, huh? What have we to gain from brooding all day? Kieferberg needs some good cheer now more than ever, folks. No two ways about it ought to agree. If only everyone else shared Mr. Gustav's outlook on things. Oh? Running about in the rain, are you? Aren't you as well, Mr. Bernhard? I quite enjoy this to you as all, even with the rain. Have you seen all the Wilhelm by any chance? Do you need anything, Mr. Bernhard? You can keep a secret, I wager. We're all preparing a present for Eugene, you see. For Mr. Eugene? You wouldn't want to let him go without some token of appreciation is all. Old Wilhelm's been working on it. Won't you ask him about it? I can do that, Mr. Bernhard. That's rather nice of them, isn't it? That's where the chickens are. Ought to put it behind us, Bertha. Still wittering on about earlier, I presume. Nothing of the sort, Elise. It's Wilma. It's Wilma? Wilma's given her an earful, Elise. Right in front of everyone, too. All because she let Linda and Freya keep the flowers in the shack. For goodness sake. That Wilma. One can't help but feel for Wilma, that poor lass. Coming all the way from Pimeldorf to lend a hand, and for what? Truly. If only Miss Wilma had stayed in Kieferberg instead. Yeah, that means it must be in the little back streets here. Are you coming along too, Elise? He has better things to do, I'm certain. Coming where, Mr. Heinrich? We're polishing off the stalls, lass. You'd best head home to your cousin, Elise. She might want to give us a hand. I'll come about later for the vigil, Mr. Heinrich. It's a good thing you do, Elise. Tomorrow will bring much needed joy, folks. We ought to make it special for Mr. Eugene's sake, too. You're making a big deal out of it again, Heinrich. He's right, Eugen. We ought to do a proper job of sending you off. Tomorrow will bring much needed joy, huh? So where is the... Where's the little guy? Ah, here. Mr. Bernhard looking for you, Mr. Wilhelm. Ah, about you, I'd wager. Tell him I'll have it ready by tomorrow, Elise. What are you giving him, Mr. Wilhelm? 
You certain you can keep the secret? Of course. Eugen said he wanted a new pocket knife, you see. I've been working on it since Tuesday. It's taken a lot of work. Ah. Oh. That is nice of them, I suppose. Perhaps this vigil will bring Kieferberg together. It will, Miss Rushchild, you'll see. That's rich coming from you, Miss Velma. You were so adamantly against it earlier, too. It's important to know when to forgive, Elise. I can't say I was in the right. Hmm. You've been rather unfair. For a while now, Miss Velma, and I don't think that's right. I know, Elise. Isn't this the proper time to make amends? I suppose it's good that we do it before the festival. Really, Elise, I've been too firm with you for no good reason. Thank you, Miss Elma. All's well that ends well, wouldn't you say? This won't last, will it? Now, all the way back to the right here. Oh, what did he say? He says he'll have it ready by tomorrow, Mr. Bernhard. Good, good. Here you go, Elise, thank you. Ah, soup. You didn't have to, Mr. Bernhard. We didn't have to be that harsh on you earlier, yet here we are. I suppose. Folks are feeling guilty about it, but it's a little too late for that, isn't it? Huh, I wonder... Okay, that should be everybody. I gotta go to the chickens, but... I don't know... I, don't, I still think it's not the right time for going to that... the church study. People in here. Yeah. Are they still overflowing in here? They're not. Huh. Chicken is up in the stables. Okay. And let's go this way. bite you, Miss Oddly. Oh, Elise, what am I to do? I've been scared witless all week. Everyone can tell, Miss Oddly. Oh, will you please fetch me some eggs, lass? Ooh. Huh? Got a busy at the moment. Only because... so I don't get oofed. I'll do it for you. I can fetch you a few eggs, Miss Oddly. Oh, thank you, Elise. Yep. How's my way, you feathered rat? Another go. Three, two, one, go. 
Ah, dang it. See what I did. Oh. Nay? Ah, not bad. You did well, lass. You can have this for your trouble. Thank you, Miss Oddly. I suppose we judge you too harshly. Oh? Uh... One more to join our entourage, I see. Huh? Oh, it's marvelous. You'll surely agree. The banquets, the spectacles, the prestige. What are you talking about? You'll see it when you get there. Oh, he's given me all I could ever want. Which was? My luxury, wealth, opulence. Oh, I can't wait to have you and your Inamorta with us. My what? Hmm. Whoa. The only... Ooh, look at that. Lightning actually shows up. Need for another one. No, huh? Okay, guess it's all of them. Ah, dang it. Oh well. Like what you at the bakery, that's it, huh? Okay. What? What's she doing down here? Eek! I, I'm not here, Elise. I, I'm... Slicking off again, I see. M my auntie, she, she's... What about your auntie, Mivy? She's going to throw me in the well, Elise. Can't you stay put for one moment, Molly? I w was hungry, y you see. I, I had no choice. Uh, all that bread was s sitting there, uh, and I... I thoroughly won't be happy to find out. Well, I'll have to, to sleep outside tonight. M move to Primaldorf, even. Oh, Elise. Make certain you go to the vigil, you hear. Oh, uh, is there going to be f food there? For goodness sake! What has anyone to do with you, Maggie? Still, Mindy's been avoiding Miss Loralee even more than usual, hasn't she? Makes me wonder. 